hello everyone welcome back to the channel today in this video we will study the displacement current density derivation the displacement current density is denoted as jd or sometimes as j prime these are the two notations used for displacement current density now in order to find the value of displacement current density there are a couple of steps that we need to follow so first of all we will start from the ampere circuital law the ampere circuital law is given as integral of b dl is equal to mu naught i now if you remember b is equal to mu naught h and b by mu naught will be equal to h Therefore, integral of b by mu naught dot dl is equal to i and this leads us to h dot dl to be equal to i. Put this as equation number 1. Now, we also know that i is given as surface integral of j dot ds where j is my current density. So, on equating these two equations, we will have integral of h dot dl, this is line integral, to be equal to surface integral of j dot ds. Now, apply Stokes theorem to this. So, h dot dl will be equal to surface integral of del cross h ds. Therefore, surface integral of del cross h ds is equal to surface integral of j dot ds which means del cross h is equal to j okay put this as equation number three now maxwell said that this equation is somewhat incomplete and he suggested to add a term to this j so the addition that was done was equal to j plus j prime this is nothing but my displacement current density. This equation can also be written as del cross H is equal to JC plus JD. This is the conduction current density. And this is the displacement current density. Now we need to find the value of this displacement current density. So we will take the divergence of this whole equation. Which means del dot del cross H. And here also del dot j plus j prime divergence of a curl is always equal to zero so this side will become zero and here on opening the bracket we will get del dot j plus del dot j prime del dot j prime will be equal to minus of del dot j put this as equation number four The equation of continuity is del dot j is equal to minus dou rho by dou t. Therefore, in this equation, we will substitute the value of del dot j. So, del dot j prime is equal to minus of minus dou rho by dou t. Okay. therefore del dot j prime is equal to plus dou rho by dou t this is my equation number 5 now we will take help of maxwell's first equation which is del dot d is equal to rho in place of rho, we will substitute del dot d. Thus, my equation will become del dot j prime is equal to rho by dou t of del dot d. This can be written as del dot dou d by dou t. And here I am having del dot j prime. Take this term on the other side. So, del dot j prime minus del dot dou d by dou t equals to 0 therefore del dot will be therefore del dot 
in the bracket j prime minus dou d by dou t equals to 0. j prime minus dou d by dou t equals to 0. And finally, I have the value of the displacement current density as dou d by dou t. So here is the value of my displacement current density. As you can see, it arises due to the change in electric displacement vector d with respect to time and thus the name displacement current density. So, let's put this in the equation that is del cross h was equal to j plus j prime. Now I have the value of j prime. So, del cross h is equal to j plus dou d by dou t. This is my final equation. This is also known as Maxwell's correction to Ampere's law. One thing that you need to remember about J prime is for good conductors. The value of J prime is very very much less than the J. This can be asked for MCQs. So that was all about the derivation of the displacement current density. I hope you understood the concept. Thank you so much for watching till the end and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Solely Science.